Hi everybody, I'm John Bielfus, executive chef of Lula's Louisiana Cookhouse here in beautiful Owasso, Michigan. July 12th, 2020, middle of the pandemic. Guess what? Yesterday was my birthday. And what I wanted to do for my birthday? I wanted to cook myself my favorite food. So I made two crispy ducks like you would get in a Chinese restaurant and they were awesome. But my favorite, I wanted Detroit style sliders and today, I've got some time, I thought I'd quick show you all the little details that go into making a perfect Detroit style slider. The ingredients are sure simple, but as always, the devil's in the detail. You're gonna need one onion, a 2.2 ounce patty of ground chuck, this is 80-20, two very thin slices of dill pickle, salt, pepper, American cheese, and we're gonna top it with ketchup and mustard. One of the hardest things to find are the right buns, but I learned a few years ago, Pepridge Farm makes a really good slider bun. If you can get their potato, golden potato buns, all the better, but look for the Pepridge Farm department in your grocery store. They make a really nice little slider bun. As I said, the devil is in the details, and the onions are one of the most important parts of a great slider. First thing I need you to do is just slice the onion very, very thinly that. And once you get it sliced, we want to just give it a rough chop. If you don't give it that rough chop, you end up with the onions being very stringy. Next up, what I've done here is I've put our onions into a strainer or colander over a bowl, and I've mixed them with about two teaspoons of salt per onion, and I want those to drain for about 30 minutes. What this does is gives us some onion juice that we're gonna use later, and it also uh, makes the onions caramelize quicker so that they'll cook right along with the hamburger. So while my onions are draining, a couple uh, notes about sliders. Sliders are not small hamburgers. Sliders are sliders. Um, you know, when I make my perfect burger, if you've ever been to the restaurant here, I want it crispy on the outside, the meat, all, you know, lots of, Sliders are steamed. I don't want them crispy. I want them steamed on the onions. Uh, and you want that onion, the bun, the hamburger, and you know the American cheese, all to become like one gorpy bite of wonderfulness. Now the onions have drained and they've left quite a bit of onion juice in this little bowl I have. We're gonna lay down a bed of onions. Let those cook for about a minute. Salt and pepper are patty. Put it right on top of those onions. We're gonna let that warm up for about a minute. We're gonna pile some more onions on top. I did salt and pepper that top. And we're gonna give it a good smash down. And before I flip it, I'm gonna give it a little bit of salt and pepper. And we're going to give it a flip. Now we're going to take our buns and just put them right on top. These are very fresh buns, so I don't want to do it for more than a minute or they'll get too soft. It's been about a minute, so I'm going to take those off. And they'll have that nice onion smell in them. I'm going to pour a little bit of the onion juice right over like that, and put our piece of American cheese right on top. I'm going to cover this just for a minute to let, help that cheese melt. Once that cheese is nice and ooey gooey, put it right on top of our burger. We're going to top our burger with two slices of dill pickle. Mustard ketchup and that is my perfect slider well thanks again for watching another exciting episode of scratch cook with john this is a short little video but i tell you the results if you do it just exactly that way are i best hamburgers on earth as far as i'm concerned so thanks again for watching i sure appreciate it and remember, sliders are not burgers. Sliders are sliders, and burgers are burgers, and they're different.
Probably shouldn't have pointed my finger in your face. Imaginary Sarah, you're back. Thank God Fred was really boring. And I think he may be a dude that drives a Liberty because after I told the Liberty joke, it wasn't, wasn't so much fun around here. But anyway, okay, so you're back. Uh, you, did you know that real Sarah actually, you know, sent me the very first text I had for my birthday, happy birthday. I was so excited yesterday. I got so many nice, you know, phone calls with my uh, dearest and oldest friend. I got texts from many of my employees. It was great, but I'll tell you what, I was really very touched by it. were some of the, you know, larger organizations that sent me personal greetings. I, my insurance agent sent me a very nice birthday card, which is really funny. I said, time to renew. And I'm thinking, well, of course, I'm old. I want to renew, you know. And then um, Hulu. Do you believe that the president of Hulu sent, had somebody make me a little, like, movie of people dancing and sent that to me? I thought, that, I mean, do you know how many people Hulu's got? That's a lot of, you know, people. And he picked me out to send a personal I was just really, really touched. Um, I got like six cards from really nice pharmaceutical companies that were uh, really explaining in detail everything about Medicare, which was, I didn't know. And I thought, well, isn't that lovely for them to take their time to do that? And um, Chemical Bank, my bank, sent me a card personally signed by everybody that works for them. And I thought, I didn't know I had made that big of an impact on them at all. I don't even know their names. And I feel bad I have no idea when their birthdays are. 